Hello there! My name is Matiz and I'd like to welcome you to yet another product showcase video. Today we're talking about the newly released EK Quantum surface radiators. These radiators have only been available for about a month, but they've already won both the hearts of our customers and some prestigious awards, including the one from Tech Power Up for being the best performing slim radiators on the market. And with numerous reviews yet to come, we're pretty optimistic that the more good news will be coming our way soon. But let's get back to the main topic at hand and talk about what we're all here for, the radiators themselves. First off, we'll learn how to read the radiator model names to properly understand what they mean. They come in three thickness types, which directly splits them into three performance categories, just like the previous lineup of EK Coolstream radiators. The S stands for a slim radiator that is 30 mm thick and replaces the Coolstream SE series. The P identifies the 44 mm thick radiators and replaces the PE, while the X models are 58 mm thick and they replace the XE model. The numbers in the product name indicate the size and the number of fans the radiator supports. The letter M symbolizes that this is a multiport model. The multiport radiator has two additional G1 quarter threaded connection ports on the side and one extra port on the opposing end for air bleeding. Modular plugs and extenders are set into aluminum accent end caps that can be interchanged and configured by the user for optimal tube routing. The X-Flow marking indicates that this radiator works in a cross-flow setup rather than the conventional U-Flow operation. X-Flow multiport radiators have four G1 quarter threaded connection ports on both ends of the radiator, allowing for 16 ways to connect the in and out tube routing. So for example, if the radiator name reads EK Quantum Surface P360M, it's a 44 mm thick performance category radiator that can accommodate three 120 mm fans or six in push-pull configuration and it's a multi-port model. The last word in the product name indicates the version or the color of a radiator. The stainless steel side plates are coated with durable semi-gloss black or semi-matte white paint while the fins themselves have a special black matte coating with a high thermal conductivity coefficient. Thick extruded aluminum end caps with a contrasting silver finish give the radiator a premium look and feel. And premium is what we all expect from EK. These end caps cover the internals and join the stamp pressed side plates, creating a rigid structure that is pleasant to both handle and look at. The radiators now come with hard wearing black M4 round headed screws. In general use case scenarios, EK strongly suggests using only the included screws to avoid damaging the radiator itself. However, M4 screw compatibility allows the users to source longer screws if necessary. The cooling core is designed to cause no detrimental damage to the structural integrity of the radiator core, even if longer screws are used. In this case, the longer screws will collide only with the fins. The EK Quantum surface range was designed and executed as a modular product range, rather than individually sized radiators. Such a design achieves immaculate fitment and continuity in appearance, while at the same time making the disassembly process very easy and straightforward. Catering to the DIY modding community is something the EK has always been supporting, so painting and modifying your surface radiator will be like a walk in the park. The internal structure design of the radiators was executed with low flow restrictions in mind, providing no unnecessary stress on the rest of the cooling loop. This means you can add multiple radiators to your cooling loop using only a single pump. The radiators are also airflow friendly and low restriction, allowing lower fan speed operation to achieve the same performance. Low airflow restriction keeps the case well ventilated and allows other radiators in the case to breathe properly. Yes, breathing. 
Breathing is very important for radiators, not just humans and other living creatures. The S series radiators have an FPI of 20, while the P and X have an FPI of 18. FPI stands for fins per inch, and it represents the density of the cooling fins. The downside of high FPI radiators is a decreased performance at low RPM, but we at EK believe that silence and performance are equally important. So we aim for the sweet spot, where these surface radiators will perform well with both low and high RPM fans. Since any custom water cooling loop is built from multiple EK products, the most valuable distinction in aesthetics and the ease of use comes from the sum of all the parts. To address this, EK initiated Matrix 7, a system that standardizes product's dimensions as well as port's position and spacing. In doing so, we are making the liquid cooling loop assembly more intuitive so you can create a clean set of parallel tubing easier than ever before. All EK Quantum surface radiators are EK Matrix 7 compatible, which means they effortlessly integrate with Reflection 2, the second generation of quantum distro plates. This enables the user to easily upgrade between the S, P and X series surface radiators within the same case, provided the case supports thicker radiators in the same position. Another benefit of using quantum surface radiators with reflection to distro plates is that they are perfectly aligned to be used with push-in fittings and adapters, where you can simply slide the radiator into the distro plate without using any tubing, thus easing the process and reducing stress on the ports. That's it for today's video. We hope you like our quantum surface radiators and that you'll have as much fun using them in your builds as we've had creating them for you. If you still have any questions regarding this product series, we invite you to write them down in the comment section, and we'll do our best to answer them all. To be the first to catch the game-changing liquid cooling products from EK, be sure to like the video and subscribe to both our YouTube channel and our newsletter. Stay cool!